Today, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps to connect your MIDI keyboard to a Mac. Whether you're using it for the first time or just need a refresher, I've got you covered. In just a few minutes, you'll be ready to start making music on your Mac with your MIDI keyboard fully connected and configured. Before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you need. A MIDI keyboard, USB cable, and of course, your Mac. With everything in place, let's get to it. First, connect one end of your MIDI keyboard, usually it's the square port, to your computer. So this is post video, David. I'm just letting you know that you have to connect your cable to the keyboard. And then connect the cable to your computer. Okay, back to the regular video. If you have a USB-C connection, you may need to get a converter, a USB-C to USB-A converter. Usually it will just say USB-C to USB converter. Once connected, your Mac should automatically recognize the MIDI keyboard. You might see a notification pop up, but if not, don't worry. We'll check the connection in the next step. Now, let's make sure your Mac recognizes the MIDI keyboard. To do this, we'll use a built-in utility called Audio MIDI Setup. Now, you can always or you can also use your digital audio workstation, your DAW, as they say in the business, to see if you have a connection, because most DAWs have a MIDI setup in their USB preferences or in the preferences themselves. So we can go to Finder. Open the Applications folder, then the Utilities folder, double-click Audio MIDI Setup. In the Audio MIDI Setup window, click on Window in the top menu, then select Show MIDI Studio. You should see an icon representing your MIDI keyboard. If you see your keyboard isn't listed here, don't worry, we'll work on that in a little bit. If you see your keyboard listed here, congratulations. Your Mac has successfully recognized the MIDI keyboard and you're ready to start making music. If you don't see it, try unplugging and replugging the USB cable and restarting your Mac. If it still doesn't show up, you might need to install drivers from the keyboard manufacturer's website. Most notably, I have found this to be an issue with Yamaha keyboards. With the MIDI keyboard connected, let's configure your digital audio workstation to start using it. In most DAWs, most digital audio workstations, you'll need to go to the Preferences or Settings menu. Look for an option labeled MIDI or MIDI devices. Let's jump into Logic right now to look at that. So here we are in Logic, and we would go into Logic, Settings, MIDI. And when I look in this list, I do not see my keyboard. I might want to turn that on. Let's turn it on right now. So as I turn on the keyboard, 
as you can see right here, the keyboard is now on. And as I go back into Logic, now I see Casio USB MIDI there. That tells me that my, my keyboard is connected to my digital audio workstation. You want to make sure your MIDI keyboard is selected as an input device as we just showed. This tells the software to listen to signals from your keyboard. Once that's done, you can play your, you can try playing a note or two to see if you hear sound or see signal in your DAW, you're all set. If things aren't working as expected, here are a few quick troubleshooting tips. Check all connections, restart your DAW and your Mac, and make sure your software is up to date. If you're still having trouble, check the user manual for your MIDI keyboard or leave a comment below. I'll do my best to help. And that's it. You've successfully connected your MIDI keyboard to your Mac and you are ready to start making music. And as you go, remember, have a great day. If you found this video to be helpful, consider subscribing and hit that like button so that others too could be helped and notified.